You need to be as healthy as you can in order to go to school, be with friends, and do the things you want to do. Up to this point, your parents have probably taken care of most of your health-related activities, such as getting and scheduling medications, interacting with doctors, or paying for health care. In order for you to take over these responsibilities later, you need to start now learning about your health condition or disability and taking responsibility for the activities that help keep you healthy. What can you do? First, learn as much as you can about your health care needs. Do you know your diagnosis? Can you list your medications and when you take them? Do you know what you have to do to stay healthy? Secondly, try to do as much as you can. Do you carry out health-related tasks? How much help and how many reminders do you need? Can you do these things independently? If you cannot do some things independently, can you direct others to do them for you? Some things you may never be able to do all by yourself, but you can still learn how to tell someone else how to do these things for you. This is a great skill to have if you're away from home and need to ask someone for help. Third, actively participate in your health care. Do you speak up during your doctor's visits? Do you ask and answer questions? Do you spend time alone with your pediatrician? Do you discuss treatment options and participate in health care decisions as an equal partner? One of your goals over the next few years is to become an expert in your health condition and become responsible for all of the activities that help keep you healthy. This may seem like a lot to learn, but if you start early and take one step at a time, you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish in a few short years. By now, you should be able to help out around the house with chores, and you may be able to find some volunteer or part-time paid employment. Now's a good time to find out if your health condition or disability might limit the kind of work you can do when you become an adult. This will help you pick out the best courses in school and help you decide what kind of training or education you might need. It's also a good time to find out if you're eligible for services from Florida's Division of Vocational Rehabilitation. If you're 16 or older, Voc Rehab Services will help you figure out what you're good at and what kind of job might be right for you. Transition Checklist – Getting Started I can describe how my disability or health condition affects my daily life. I can name my medications using their proper names and the amounts and times I take them. I answer at least one question during a health care visit. I have talked with my doctors or nurses about going to different doctors when I'm an adult. I manage my regular medical tasks at school. I can call my primary care doctors or specialist's office to make or change an appointment. If most of these statements are true for you, then you're beyond getting started. You are on your way. Now that you're taking a more active role in your health care, you might feel some of the ups and downs that other teens with special health care needs and disabilities feel. You might feel that adults treat you like a kid and tell you what to do, always checking up on you. Other times you may feel like all the things you have to do and think about are just too much and you would like someone else just to take care of them for you. And sometimes you get so tired of having to take medicine or go to therapy or stay at the hospital and hearing from everybody about what you need to do to take care of yourself that you just want to take a vacation from all the health care stuff. There's no denying that it can be hard to manage a disability or special health care need, but being able to care for yourself might just give you the opportunity to someday live independently, attend college, and have a job. But independence doesn't just happen. You need to learn, develop, and practice the skills that support independence. At this point, it's important to spend some time alone with your health care providers. You'll be giving the doctors the information they need about how you've been feeling. You'll be asking questions when you need more information and discussing your treatment options. Another way to practice and prepare for independence during medical visits is to keep a medical journal. A medical journal is a good place to keep track of experiences related to your health. 
Sometimes it's hard to find adult doctors knowledgeable about your particular health condition. Yes, yes ma'am. I'm calling to, um, to possibly set up an appointment for next week. So it's important to give yourself at least a year to look for a doctor to take care of you when you're an adult. Dr. Smith. Did you know that in Florida when you turn 18, you are legally an adult and you have the right to have most medical and other information about you kept private from everyone, including your parents? Healthcare providers cannot share this information unless they have written permission to do so. Other medical forms that everyone should have in case of a medical emergency are advanced directives, which include a living will and a healthcare surrogate. For those young people whose ability to make informed decisions is diminished, families may need to take legal action to become the young person's guardian. This process should be started soon after the 17th birthday. There are different levels of guardianship. All of them involve a legal process that takes time and money, including submitting a formal application to the county probate court. Transition Checklist on your way. I keep a personal health notebook or medical journal. I reorder my medications when my supply is low and call my doctor when I need a new prescription. I answer many of the questions during a healthcare visit. I spend most of the time alone with the doctor during healthcare visits. I tell my doctors if I understand and agree with the medicines and treatments they suggest. I know if my doctors do not take care of patients who are older than a certain age. I regularly do chores at home. I can tell someone the difference between a primary care doctor and a specialist. If most of these statements are true for you, then you are well on your way and you're beginning to take charge of your health care.